Howdy folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen. I'm in the Video Jug Kitchen, and today it's part of my playlist, Good Food, Good Times, nice, amazing, unintimidating recipes that you're gonna love. Today, it's a quinoa chili served bunny chow style which is hollowed out bread, I'll show you that later. Let's get on and make it, and I really hope you give it a try. This recipe couldn't be simpler. So first thing you need is a nice hot pan. So we're gonna chuck some olive oil in there first of all. I'm gonna soften up our red onion. So I've got some red onion that I've chopped up. It's just one red onion like that, nice and fine. So we'll get it in there. The onion's gonna cook away nice and so about five minutes. So just work it around that high heat, get it to really soften and break down. So what we'll see here is we've got a lovely colour on there. And with colour, folks, comes flavour. That's a really important life lesson for you. But anyhow, we must move on. Uh, here is some chopped garlic. I'm just gonna push that in there. It's only going to take about one minute or so just to brown through, so that's why the onion got priority. Some mild chilli powder, about a teaspoon of that, but feel free to ramp it up, make it as strong as you like. This is going to be quite a mild chilli. And again, cumin, about a teaspoon of that, maybe a heap teaspoon. I'm feeling a little kinky today. So let's just stir it through, get it nice and coated on there, let it stain the onions and the garlic. Just about a minute on there, and then we're going to chuck a load of stuff in this party. If you're going to try this recipe, guys, don't forget all the ingredients and the method are down below in the description box. So uh, give it a try. Right, folks, the colour in there is looking good. The smell is like a boudoir of flavour heaven. You're in it with me. Let's carry on. We're going to get some tomatoes in here. This is a tin of chopped tomatoes. Not just one, no, two. Good heaped teaspoon of chopped oregano. Mix that through a little bit. Good times. You see, that's really soothed it down now. The onion and the garlic is thanking it. It's a little bit cooler now. The flavours are so good in there. I'm loving it. Here is a tin of mixed beans in water. We're going to tip a little bit of the water in there to give it something to simmer off later on. Mix that through. Really cool. Nice texture in there. That's what it's going to add. We need to add some more veg in there. The tomatoes did their thing, but we've got some chopped courgette here. This is one chopped courgette that I've cut into sort of half and then half again. So it's kind of like a triangle or happy face. So in that goes like so. It's going to really soften up in there. It's going to be so good. In here, I've got a bowl of peppers and also sweet bell peppers that have been chopped and de-seeded. If you want to ramp it up a bit, you could use scotch bonnets, you know, for that extra kick. But these are just going to go in. We're going for a nice kind of sweet feel on the chili. So we'll mix this all through, get it all nice and coated in there. So all we do is simply season it, so a good sprinkling of salt there, a nice big chunk of salt crystals going on, and then an extra grinding of pepper in there. I hope you'll agree, it's a little bit of a colour fest going on that pan. The good news is, you get to just chill out for about 15 minutes. So if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to both My Virgin Kitchen and the Video Jug Food channel. Uh, we've got something to do with the bunny in a bit, involving the bread. Let's say, just subscribe and chill out for a bit. Okay, so that's had a good 15 minute simmer and it's time to add in our quinoa. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's kind of like the buzz thing at the moment. It's like a posh couscous. Uh, let's just push this in like so. Oh my goodness. I've already pre-cooked this, by the way. Just simmered it for 15 minutes in some water so it really expands. Some sweet corn on top like that. Nice yellowy mountain. Just gonna push this down, work it all through. Good times. So this really doesn't need much cooking time. All we're doing is warming through the sweet corn and the quinoa to get it all nice and coated, warm it through, we'll work on our bread, and then it's time to serve it. We've got a loaf of bread, and effectively what we do, cut it into thirds and hollow that out and serve it. Now apparently this is like a South African tradition from years ago where they used to serve curry in there. If you're South African or you know more about bunny chow, let me know down below. I'd love to know, like, I need a life lesson from you guys. Let's cut this up. So I'm just cutting this bread through, and it's really important that the loaf that you're using is both uncut, but also it has got a flat edge there. All I'm gonna do is just hollow out the bread in like little lumps like this. And don't feel generous, don't give it to the birds in the garden just there. You get to keep this bit as well. It's gonna be great, because we're gonna dunk that. People used to dunk that in their curry apparently, so we're gonna dunk that in our chili as well at the end. So hollow this out, leave a little bit so it doesn't seep out, give it some walls, good times. Right, it's time to serve it up, and it just came to me that the hollowed out bread acts as quite a good uh, mobile phone holder, so if you're interested, uh, you know, you could stock that and maybe make a business plan out of that. But anyhow, let's get on with our chilli. We're going to just ladle it straight in there. Oh my goodness, this is good. I really like sort of rustic food. I like just getting my hands on stuff, and I kind of just want to go, ah, caveman on it. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to carry on filling this up. The colourfulness in there is looking good. The smell, the flavour, and the texture when you bite into it, you're going to love it. It's going to be so worthwhile. And how easy was this to make. How easy was that? So good. I can't wait to eat this, but we need to add a little bit more, just a little bit of finesse on there. Some grated cheddar cheese. I live near cheddar, actually. That's a random fact for you. A little bit of coolness from some sour cream, just a little dollop there. Sprinkling of chopped coriander. 
So I hope you'll agree, guys. I've just stuffed in a little bit of scraps of bread there to refer back to that bunny reference. It is looking amazing. I can't wait to eat it. I really hope you have a go too. And if you do, don't forget to send me a picture at my Virgin Kitchen and of course, video jug food. And we'll love to see what you come up with. I'll see you again next time.